Sweat Stream TV. It's Friday. Sean Big, my friends, you've been working hard all week with these excellent workouts on Sweat Stream TV. Make sure you subscribe. So today we're going to do a complete and total flexibility training routine. This is great for men and women. It's all body weight, no weights, no machines. We're filming at Nick's Pro Fitness today in Evergreen, Colorado, where I teach classes. We had two feet of snow yesterday. So I'll put a put a little photo up there. I was filming a workout outside and I got caught. Where's the photo? I got caught in a whiteout. So there is snow everywhere. It's coming out of my pockets even. Here in this room though, there is no snow. Now this routine is gonna be great for opening your hips, stretching your hamstrings, and uh, you might even find yourself getting into the splits. Fantastic. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's in the about section below. And go to SeanVFitness.com for my free fitness app, my books, and much more. All right, let's get to the mat, which is good because it's right here. All right, make sure you are warmed up before doing this routine. I recommend doing it after one of the other, you know, fat burning sweat stream TV workouts. Let's begin in wide legged forward fold. So bring the feet out here. We're gonna dive down, grab the opposite arm with each hand, and we're gonna sway side to side. Keep your knees slightly bent, relax your neck. So tuck your chin so the top of the head reaches towards the floor. Exhale across, inhale to the center, back and forth. Great for loosening up your lower back, getting some blood filled with oxygen to the brain and hamstrings and everything else. Let's do three more breaths. Good, side to side. And once more. Now the wide-legged twist, let me mirror you. Are you still there? Good. Take the left hand down. Take your right arm to the lower back, and we're going to twist. You can also take this hand further over. Again, this is for all fitness levels. You can modify as you need to. Exhale, twisting a little further. I love twists. They loosen up your lower back. They improve your posture, and they also feel really good. Anytime you do something that feels good, with your body, you send all these positive signals, millions and billions throughout your body to the central nervous system. One more exhale, draw back. All right, bring it back to the center. Let's go to the other side. Here we are. I am a little tight back here. I shoveled for three hours yesterday in the snow. That's not what bothered me. Um, what bothers me is that when I was finished, I wanted to celebrate. So we have like this nine foot high snow pile from all the snow and I went to jump into it and I slammed right back here into the top. It was hard. I don't know why. I thought it'd be soft. Das ist was ich gesagt. So it's a little tight there. But we move through the workouts. We make them work. All right, bring it back to the center. Again, grab the opposite arm. Let's take it side to side a little bit more. Relax the spine. So no more excuses for me. You might see me wince a little bit. I'll just modify <sighs> and rest it up. But these routines, they're so easy on the joints and other parts of the body that we can continue to move even when we have some tightness. All right, two more breaths. Just sink down. <sighs> okay, coming into the lunge, let's bring the right foot forward, left leg back. This is a little little dip here. So we're going to get the hip flexor and other parts in between. So as you exhale, dip that knee down, that left knee, and then inhale, bend. exhale, dip, hit that, so that hip flexor. Again, this routine, one of the big culminations is going into the splits. Now the splits doesn't have to be perfect, doesn't have to be a Van Dam splits on the countertop, but you will be amazed at how much looser your body is because flexibility is youth, flexibility is longevity. Keep those muscles pliable and they will serve you no matter which sport, activity, whatever you do, you will do it better. Let's do five more dips here, really sink down. Make sure there's a good right angle here, the knee and the ankle. I'm not going to talk for the next four breaths. All right, go right into the pyramid. You're gonna lengthen that right leg. Hands can be, if you need to, they can be on the leg, the foot, or extend forward. Each inhale, bend the right knee a little bit. 
Each exhale, stretch it out. Pyramid is very intense. It's a revelation much of the time. You want to lengthen up and over. And the backs of the legs, all of this. Let's do five more breaths. I won't talk. You spread in these to you. Three more. And one more time. Really stretch that leg. Hold it for an extra breath. So one more. Oh, heck, let's have a little extra fun here. Take that left hand down and then take the right arm and reach it up and back to the lower back. Good. Draw the shoulders. Actually, a version of reverse triangle. <sighs> Big twist. Lengthen this right leg right here. You're going to feel that in the IT band where the hip, from the hip into the knee. Three more breaths. Bring it back. Ooh. And once more, we got it. A hey, fantastic. All right, pyramid. Other side, left foot forward. You can always Woo. Go into it. You can always bounce around a little bit. All right, there we go. You can always come into it from a standing position and hinge forward, setting the precedent right away for length. And stretch it out. Exhale, lengthen the leg. Inhale, soften. Good. Don't forget about the spine. Get that spine stretch. Five more breaths. You can even flex the foot a little bit. Oh, I have to trim my toenails. Don't even look at my toenails. Don't even look. Nose towards the knee. All right, two more breaths, my friends. Two more. And once more. Stretch it, stretch it, stretch it. Good. Hold it for a second. Now we go into that reverse triangle. Take the right hand down. Left arm, lower back, and we want to roll that left shoulder back. Twist out. Five breaths. Open the chest. Keep that lower back loose. And two more breaths. Excellent. All right. Coming into the pigeon pose. Pigeon pose. All right. The crew is all at the catering table. Let's just turn that down a titch. I want you to bring your right knee forward. Open up that hip. Pigeon. You work out with me. You work out with my videos. I do a lot of pigeons. They are so effective. They are so good. There's variations. So you want to be right over the center. Now as you exhale, I want you to walk those fingers forward as far as they'll go. That's up to you. And then as you inhale, walk them back and lift up into proud pigeons. So shoulders back and down, open the chest. <sighs> oh. And again, exhale, walk forward. Let's do this five times. So here's two. And then walk back. Lift, lift, shoulders back and down. And here we go with three. Think length, long, lean muscles. What it takes <sighs> to be limber. Wake up every morning, roll out of bed feeling strong and loose and energized. Two more times. Use that upper body weight to open the hip, the knee, the back. Lift. Pigeon flex. All right. Down. Oh, I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do one more on top of this. I may, this might be an extra, I'm not sure, but let's finish it off strong. And then I got a little surprise for you on the back end of this pigeon. No, I shall not transform into a pigeon. That would be very difficult. I want you to come back up. Now bend that back leg. Take the right hand of the mat or the forearm down. Reach back, grab that foot. This is going to really, really get your quad. Exhale, bring the foot in towards you. Inhale, release a little bit. Let's do it five times. Exhale, stretch. The quads are, can be rather difficult to stretch. Hamstrings get all the PR. They get all the attention. Quads are neglected quite a bit. You know, this is the first time I've ever been in this room. I teach in the yoga studio upstairs. Nice room. One more time. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Oh, beautiful. 
Okay, let's go pigeon other side. So just simply bring the left leg forward, get situated right over the center. Five times we exhale, walk forward. Inhale, come back. Proud pigeon, shoulders back, open the chest. Let the breath be able to just flow right through. Here's two. Woo! There we are. And three. No, shoveling yesterday was... Oh, the snow was... It was two feet. We have a big driveway and it was really wet snow. So, man, I had my work cut out for me. But I switch sides all the time. You gotta do that. So Same with these stretches. We do both sides. All right, once more, lift it up, powerful, shoulders down, good posture, walk forward, take an extra breath here, so good for your hip, your back, your legs, now bend that back leg, take the left forearm down, or the hand can stay down, let's see what we're doing here, see how this feels, it is a little tight, a little tight back there, it's amazing what, a, what one little dumb move makes but we'll heal just fine. Five breaths. Bring that leg towards you. All right, one more time. Stretch. Ooh, it's like a slot machine handle. Ching, ching, jackpot. All right, the reverse hurdle stretch. Reverse hurdle. Ugh. Let me mirror you on this. Take your right leg out, turn your left leg in. If this is too much right here, you can go like this. We always did this in, in track, I remember. Track and cross country. Now turn it out. I'm gonna get a stretch here in the IT band and the, what's this called, your quadricep. Now turn to that left or right leg and hinge. Let's do five deep breaths. Lengthen up and over that leg. I'm going to do two more breaths, smushing the back of that knee down. Let your breath always lead you into the stretch. Now we're going to have even more fun with this. I want you to open up. So keep the hand on the leg, foot, or bring the elbow down and reach up and over. And there we are. Extend. Four more breaths. It always helps. When you inhale, you can soften, exhale, lengthen. You're chiseling away, scraping out the rust. You're like the Columbo of your own body. You're investigating, finding those spots. There's something that bothers me about this stretch. All right, bring it up. All right, hands behind or forearms down, or you can come all the way down onto your back. That's up to you. I'm going to keep it right here with someone trying to come in. Actually, let's see if I can do this. Oh, all the way down. There we are. Take five breaths right here. Place the arms where you like. Keep opening this so you're turning this hip in a little bit, the left hip. Woo. Two more breaths. It's five now. We got it. You've been doing high intensity interval training all week, dumbbells, you've been jumping around, burpees, everything. Now it's time to recover. One more thing, one more thing. I want you to walk the hands forward, forearms down or all the way down. You decide, five breaths. Are you playing your own music? I always mention that at the beginning. Put it on there. Comment below what music you're listening to. What do you got? Motley Crue, Enya? What do you look? What do you got? The killers. Okay, walk it up. Whew. Now let's go to the other side. Man, good job. Good stuff right there. Take the uh, left leg out and turn the right knee in. Okay, turn and let's stretch. Five breaths for each of these. Work your way up to it. You might see where I am. It may not be as far as you are. Maybe you're farther. But no matter where you are, with each breath, you're advancing, you're lengthening, you're youthening, you're like Merlin. One more breath, stretch. And now we come to the magnificent, 
side bend. Fix the blouse. All right. Up and over. Oh, there's that little pinch back there. Whew. Say some prayers for me. I want this to I easily heal like Wolverine really quickly. But the toughest part for people like me and people like you is that we love to be active. We're always moving, and sometimes we just have to stay put and rest. Two more breath breaths, and that's just, oh, that's too much to ask sometimes, isn't it? Sometimes, even. <sighs> all right, now take it back. Hands down, forearms, or bring it all the way down. Who put this cap here? Get out of here. I'm doing the routine sans cap today. Five breaths. Good. You can stretch the arms out a little bit. One more breath. Here we go. All right. Now the toughest part is coming back up. And then bring it forward. Ooh. This side's a little tighter. My right leg's definitely tighter. Five breaths. Two more. Okay, whew. Shake that out. Now, to get out of this, we're just gonna roll and bring those legs around. Very good, very good, okay. This is something I do in my loft at night. My loft is where I do most of my work, write out workouts, work on my books, etc. Lately, I put a little Mystery Science Theater on in the background or Star Trek Next Generation. I'm very kind of hooked on that lately. So, as we move into this next stretch, engage. I want you to bring your left knee forward, bring the leg out to the side. I don't even know what to call this. You can comment below. What should we name this pose? It's gonna get your hip flexor. You just turn a little bit onto your side. Lift that right foot up and you're gonna grind forward. Just pull forward, hitting that hip flexor. Oh, it's like a massage. Then come back and then pull. It might look a little strange, but if we do it together, it looks perfectly normal. Let's do three more pulls here. So exhale, really get that hip flexor. You never realize how tight they are until you attend to them. Oh, two more. And you're getting a nice hip opener on the other side. Got my leg out. I usually have a magazine or a book right here. All right, pull a little bit out to the side. Okay, switch sides. Right leg goes out to the side. Forearms are down and pull five times. Feel that stretch. Inhale, reset. Just come back. Hope you can see me okay. We're using the natural light from the window here. It's very bright outside. In Colorado, we have over 300 day, days of sunlight every year. Like it'll snow, blizzard, and then 10 minutes later, the sun comes out. <laughs> All right, one more time. Pull, mush. Okay. Feeling pretty loose right now. Pull, 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 pull. Okay. Runners lunge and this one is going to lead us right into the splits. Now I say splits, it doesn't mean you have to do the full splits. It means you're going to do some kind of variation of it. Let's start with the right foot forward. Your left knee underneath your hip, extend the right leg. This is called the runner's lunge. So like the pyramid, you walk forward like so. Each exhale lengthen. Now if you want to go into the lunge, or not lunge, uh, splits, you keep sliding that left leg back. Hands are down for protection. Find it. Once I get into it, I like to move a little side to side. <sighs> a little, little tight from shoveling yesterday. That's good. That's normal. But what a great routine to do here. Three more breaths, whichever one you're in, runner's lunge or splits. That splits with a Z, by the way. You can also, if you get loose, or you can grab that front leg and sink down. Okay, let's go to the other side. Roll onto your right side. No, 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 no. Bring the left leg forward. We have runner's lunge. Start here. Start now. Everything's coming up roses. Then feel free, if you like, to slide that right. This side's a little tighter. That right knee back. There we are. Where are you? Comment below. How far did you get? How were your splits? I love that. 
I, I pretty much guarantee you'll surprise yourself on this one. Remember, you can reach forward and grab that leg too. So many great things happening here. Two more breaths. I like to move side to side. My right hip flexor is a little tighter. You do this at the gym, people look at you like, huh? But they know they need to do this. It's essential. Essential, my friends. Okay, now, woo, come around, shake out the legs. Let's finish with a straddle stretch. Hi. Hola. Bonjour. Oh, okay. Now with the exhales, walk those hands forward. Inhale, lift a little bit. Let's do five breaths. If you're feeling extra flexible, take the hands out here and press into the legs, opening up that stretch a little further. Powerful, powerful stretch. Two more breaths. Okay, come on up. Bring those hands together. Whew, a little prayer position, do a little twist side to side. Twisting from your core, so we're not pulling the arms like this. Do an exhale, twist, inhale, center. Keep it going back and forth. Draw those toes towards you. Admire your surroundings, admire your breath. Ooh. Do it two more times each side. Twist. There we are. Two more times. Sorry, one more time each side. Give yourself a side bend back and forth. Active. So exhale, reach. This hand can also come to the leg. Inhale, center, open. Other side. Love this one. Side bends. We compound. We tripound. We keep adding on to the stretches. Flexibility training is a workout in itself, so don't be discouraged. That's why a lot of us, myself included, many times will avoid it because it's very intense. It takes a lot of work, a lot of focus. We can't just rush through it. It will not work. All right, one more time each side. By the way, if you're wondering what this Power Yoga for Athletes, that's my newest paperback book. That's all I'll say about that. It's a secret. Okay. Now bring it back to the center. Hands together. As you inhale, bring those arms up. Over the head. Bend the elbows so you're reaching back. Exhale. Pull those hands back down. Good. So yeah, four more times. Inhale. Lift up. Feel that stretch in the back. And then pull. Always resetting that posture. All right, two more times. Inhale up. Woo. Exhale down. Once more. Oh, pull them down. Do yourself a little tipping to the side. Let's do 10 times, five times each side. Tip. Inhale and exhale. This is a active flexibility training. Moving through the stretches. Definitely increasing the range of motion with every movement. Five more times. And here's seven. Seven. Eight. Oh, feel that nice bend. Get that, that limberness, that range of motion, that movement in the lower back and sides. Okay, back to the center. Let's finish this off. Inhale. Arms all the way up. Exhale. Pull those hands down. This one is very challenging. Let's do it again. Inhale. As the arms come up, your back muscles are tight, so it wants to pull against your lower back and your hamstrings. So we got that opposition. Let's do it three more times. Inhale. Reach. Exhale. Pull down. Two more. And down, hinging forward a little bit. Once more. And down, 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 down. Fantastic, my friends. Bring those legs in slowly, slowly. Shake them out. Shake everything out. And that is it, my friend. Sean V joining you on Sweatstream TV every Friday. Make sure you subscribe to Sweatstream TV. Very important that you do that and share it with all of your friends. Like this video. I want you to share it with all of your workout 
buddies who need to stretch, who might not do it all the time, but their performance will improve so much with routines like this. And comment below, how did your splits go? I'd be honored and flattered. It'll make me blush if you subscribe to my YouTube channel in the About section and head to SeanVeekFitness.com. Peruse my inventory of best-selling fitness books, download my free app, and check out other things I have there. All right, my friends, it's always a pleasure coming at you every Friday. I will see you real soon. God bless, and uh, keep stretching, and then uh, stretch a little bit more. Bye. <laughs>